Hi, my name is Martin Daxel and I'm a consultant in acute medicine. This video will take you through the practical aspects of an abdominal ultrasound via the FAMIS curriculum. We will use a curvilinear probe for this scan. This is the abdominal session. We starting in the right upper quadrant with the probe in a longitudinal plane with the marker dot towards the head. And I would start in the mid axillary line. What we can see is our liver. I will then tilt my probe posteriorly to get the kidney into view. I will check at this view for uh, intra-abdominal fluid in Morrison's pouch. I will then tilt my probe slightly anteriorly to the kidney and slowly tilt to the whole organ until I am posterior to the kidney and can't see it anymore. What you can recognize here again is the mirror artifact and the spine sign. So on looking at the kidneys, we can see the bright uh, kidney sinuses full of fat and the dark cortex of the kidney. The next view of the abdominal examination is the left upper quadrant. We want to be at the posterior axillary line, marker dot towards the head, and we can see the spleen and the kidney appearing on the screen. Rotation of our ultrasound transducer can help to get rid of the rib shadows and we can see the kidney fully. We then again tilt our probe until the kidney is just disappearing and slowly examining the kidney by tilting our probe back. Finally, we will look for free fluid in between the spleen and the kidney. We would then move our probe into the right iliac fossa with the marker dot towards the head and towards the right hand side. And we will check for free fluid. In this case, there is no free fluid. We would then move to the left iliac fossa. And again, there's no free fluid to be seen. Finally, we will scan the bladder with the marker dot towards the right hand side, and then transfers view. We then rotating our probe into a longitudinal view and might have to rock our probe a little bit more intrapelvically. Finally, we will scan our bladder, firstly in a transverse view with the marker dot towards the right hand side. And we will tilt our probe all the way through the bladder to see where the bladder has the largest volume. We will check for free fluid behind the bladder. And in this case, there's no free fluid we can see. We then rotate our probe into a longitudinal fashion with the marker dot going towards the head.
And again, we tilt our probe from right to left to see where the largest bladder volume appears. This concludes the abdominal scan.